Hey guys, welcome back to Rogue World and uh, welcome back to Kali Linux 101 series of videos. And in today's video, I'm going to teach you guys on how to configure VPN on Kali Linux. When I say VPN, I'm going to uh, opt for free VPN. So, how to configure a free VPN on Kali Linux will be today's uh, you know topic. Uh, this is an aftermath of uh, you know the proxy chain video which I made and few of uh, comments uh, which I got was to make a VPN uh, video so this one is for those who requested for uh, configuring free VPN on Kali Linux and uh, if you guys want uh, you can go through my other video which is how to configure proxy chains on Kali Linux you will find the video uh, link on the description or even on the top right corner now so on this series let's quickly get on to the Linux box uh, so I'm going to get uh, into log into my Kali, Kali Linux box so there we go and as I said you're going to we're going to uh, you know learn how to uh, you know configure free VPN so to do that first uh, let me give you uh, the free VPN uh, you know link so first is I uh, let me open Firefox so this free VPN uh, link uh, I'll share it in the description of this uh, video as well so that you guys can uh, quickly take uh, you know uh, quickly use this link or copy paste this link on the browser and uh, use it all right so you have to get inside get on to the vpn book this is a free vpn service uh, which is uh, available on the internet and uh, yeah uh, compared to the paid vpn services this is uh, quite useful for those who wants to have the identity masked uh, but then you will not be uh, masking your complete identity uh, though you can switch between uh, the IP address which you are using just like proxy chain but not that effective like proxy chain so uh, in this free VPN uh, if you scroll down as you see this is uh, a free one and these are the you know VPN server uh, packs which is available and you can choose any one of this VPN pack so uh, notably there are some points which you need to understand that this red mark which is optimized for fast web servers no P2P download that means that if you are using uh, torrents or any P2P software for data downloads and transfer you will not be able to uh, use them uh, on this VPN uh, pack set but then if you are using these two probably you may be but then there will be obviously a little slowness in this open VPN because uh, this is globally used and there are several users who rely on open VPN systems so free VPN systems so what you need to do is in this page uh, you can uh, you know download any of the pack which you feel so I'll go with the first first one itself the PL226 uh, open VPN certificate bundle so this is a certificate bundle which you can download and when you associate this with your Kali Linux automatically you will have your uh, IP spoofed and you connect through a VPN and all the bundles include these are the ports on which uh, the VPN bundles work UDP 25000 UDP 53 TCP 80 and TCP 443 so the same way if you go through the proxy chains you'll have SOX4, SOX5, HTTP uh, so on the same way VPN has its own uh, trend and uh, there is a username password which is very uh, much important when you are configuring your open VPN or free VPN service you will be using this username and this password right so uh, let me quickly download this uh, VPN certificate bundle pack so I'm going to save this uh, save it so once uh, it's complete so we have saved it we'll open the folder and uh, in the meantime so this is the vpn book.com open vpn pl226.zip so this is the one which i downloaded 226.zip so this is the uh, you know the downloaded file so now what you need to do uh, is that we need to extract this particular uh, uh, the vpn uh, free vpn certificate and import it to our Linux box. 
so before doing that uh, we need to open a, a browser again uh, a new tab and ta search for your IP that is what is my IP quickly because this is currently my IP address which I'm using uh, on my Kali Linux box all right so I'll I'll have this noted somewhere or uh, so that you know uh, I can use it whenever I need it so I'll open a terminal and uh, I'll paste this IP I'll minimize this right so we're done with this so we downloaded the uh, you know the VPN book uh, free uh, VPN uh, certificate now let's it's very simple you can extract it uh, just like how you do it in Windows it's better to extract it here so you can extract it here or you can extract it as a folder as well so I'll I'll opt for see if I click on extract it here I get these files these are the certificate files and I would rather organize it in a neater way so I'll just extract it to um, root slash downloads so um, I'm sorry so extracted to so downloads right so like root downloads extract so you can see now that this this particular uh, certificate is extracted inside a folder and these are the files which are uh, in extracted inside the uh, and as a certificate files which is extracted inside the folder so you can use any of this certificate I will first choose with uh, go with UDP 25000 uh, certificate uh, pack so all you need to do is open terminal and you open terminal inside this folder so that you don't have to navigate all the way to this folder so open terminal so I am already inside download vpnbook.com and if you hit ls these are the four files which are uh, you know available inside this VPN pack right so these are the four files so now we need to in uh, you know map it or we need to extract them to the box so that we activate the VPN so to quickly uh, merge it or use it use the VPN all you need to do is uh, type open vpn then i'm going to use this particular file so i'll copy this and i'll paste it over here so open vpn vpn book uh, udp 25000.ovpn hit enter so now it is asking for username and password it will ask you for username and password uh, yeah i did uh, close the firefox uh, where you will have the username password so let's go back to the VPN account and there you go so there you see uh, the username and password so username is VPN book and you can see the password as well so uh, go back to the username password uh, window over here I'll just keep it this side so that I can just watch out and type so this is the username and password let me get back to the command so username is VPN book oh I'm sorry so we lost this that's okay we can do this again so username is VPN book and the password uh, is R3 G 8 B R Z so this is the password over here so username and password over here so hit enter so now you can see that uh, you know it's trying to connect just like how the proxy chains you see or uh, trying to bounce the connection so the same way it's trying to connect to different uh, you know ports and 
IPs and you need to wait for uh, some time so that uh, the end connection is established so let's uh, I'll close this uh, Firefox browser because I need to come back to it with full refresh so now the sequence is complete so this means that uh, we are on a proxy uh, I mean sorry not the proxy the VPN now so what you need to do is this is the initial IP address which we we need to check that the same IP address is available or the public IP address is changed so uh, what I will do is I'll open it uh, I'll open my Firefox browser minimize this there you come All right so um, I don't restore the session I'll open duck duck go so just searching for duck duck go um, so in the meantime I'll type uh, what is my IP so you can actually see the slowness uh, yeah that is all because of uh, you know you are inside a open VPN channel and it takes a little while to browse through uh, but then it's not that slow as well it's uh, quite okay but then uh, you can expect a, a, a small delay in you know browsing that's because it's an open VPN and there are thousands of users you're using and it's always loaded with uh, concurrent connections so this is uh, quickly loading up so we need to have a cross verification of this public IP address this used to be uh, you know our initial public IP address before we set up VPN so post setting up VPN what is the public IP address is what we need to find out so um, there you see uh, the IP address the current public IP address which uh, I'll be, I'm using so the the IP address which initially we were using uh, I mean I was getting was this IP address so it eventually means that I am now behind a VPN service which is masking my public IP address to a different IP address right so um, you want to get more insight on this IP address you can just click on it and probably it takes you to Indonesia uh, this IP belongs to an Indonesian uh, you know ISP so that exactly is how you uh, you know move your system onto a VPN service or your browsing onto a VPN service and uh, on the on the background you can still see that the VPN is enabled so uh, if you want to stop this VPN you can close the browser and you can exit this uh, terminal this will stop the VPN service so um, that is one quick uh, tutorial on how to configure VPN on your Kali Linux box and in case if you guys have any questions or you guys are not able to do any of these things please do uh, leave your comment I'll be happy to help you uh, teach you on further and sort your issues and also I'll give uh, the heads ups on uh, the video description so please do, do go through the video description and uh, do give a like uh, and subscribe to rogue wall channel so this will be uh, this is this is this will be all for uh, this session uh, this video tutorial and I will meet you guys on the next video tutorial till then keep learning see you thank you